Hello guys, welcome back to the sixth tutorial on Bash scripting. Today we are going to learn about the case statement for making multi-way decisions in your script. The case statement is a powerful tool for handling multiple conditions more elegantly than using multiple if statements. So what is a case statement? Imagine you have a script that needs to perform different actions based on various user inputs. The case statement simplifies this process by allowing you to efficiently compare a value against multiple patterns and execute code blocks specific to each match. So first let me show you the basic syntax of the case statement. So first let's create a file. So this is how the basic syntax of a case statement looks like. This case keyword introduces the statement followed by the variable you want to match. Pattern 1, pattern 2 represents different patterns to be compared against the variable's value. Patterns can be string, numbers, regular expressions or wildcards. Each pattern is followed by a right parenthesis. And the commands for each pattern are terminated with this double semicolon. The lines indented under each pattern represents the code block that executes if the variable's value matches for the corresponding pattern. This asterisk acts as a default case if no other patterns match. Finally, this isAC, which is the reverse keyword for case, closes the case statement. So this is how the basic structure of a case statement works. So now let's write a script that interacts with the user and perform different actions based on their input. We are going to create a script that handles user input for a simple menu. The menu options will be start, stop, restart and status. So first let me write the script, then I will explain. So this is the code. First we have the cbang line to specify the bash interpreter. Next we prompt the user to enter a command and store the input in the variable input. Now we have the case statement that checks the value of the variable input. Then we define the patterns and corresponding commands. If the user enters start, the script executes the commands under the start pattern. And if this start matches with the input variable, then it will print starting the service. And this double semicolons indicates the end of the commands for this pattern. The same structure is followed for stop, restart and status 2. And finally we have this default case statement that handles invalid commands. That is if the user input anything other than this start, stop, restart or status, it will pin this invalid comment. So now let's save this file and run it. Sorry I made a mistake here. So I should insert a space here. So now it prompts enter a command start stop restart status. Let's enter start. So it prints starting the service. Now again run this code and now let's say put status. So now it's a print checking the status. Now if you enter anything else rather than these four options start stop restart and status. So let's say enter begin. So it prints invalid command. That is the default command in this script if none of the pattern matches. So as you can see the script correctly handles each valid command and prints an appropriate message. For an invalid command it prints invalid command. Now patterns can be simple strings or more complex expressions. For example you can use wildcard characters to match multiple possibilities. Like one can start the service by entering start begin or run. Or one can stop the service by entering stop or halt or end. So this case statement can take input of multiple keywords to run the same command. So let's see how to do it. So this is the modified script to handle different inputs of similar kind but to perform or execute the same command. So here start, begin and run are the patterns. The vertical bar here acts as an OR operator. meaning. If input matches any of these patterns, the corresponding commands are executed. In this pattern, it prints starting the service. And similarly, we have other set of patterns for various jobs to do. Like if anyone enters stop, end or halt, it will perform the same thing that is a stopping the service. And similar for restart and reload. So now let's run the script. So now let's enter say run. So it says starting the service. Now again run the script. Now let's say enter reload. So it prints restarting the service. And if you also enter restart, 
it will also print restarting the service. So same command will be executed for different but similar kind of inputs that you already set in your script file. So that's it for today's tutorial on the case statement in bash scripting. We have covered the syntax a practical example and how to use patterns to handle multiple cases efficiently. This is a powerful tool for simplifying your scripts when dealing with multiple conditions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more programming tutorials. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.